right guys I'm back so I've done a little bit more on the painting so you can see that I've done the bottom section where there's this rope tied around this metal sort of post okay I've done a little bit more darker on the tops of the wings okay I'm just going to paint the background in now so you can see how how to do a background area so I'm just going to pull this down a little bit to get it in the right position okay so just with I'm doing it with a blue and a green but you can do it however you want to do it you can do it as the sky I just want to do it as this sort of nice sort of turquoisey color okay always remember have a little practice somewhere okay now when you're putting it on put it on quite thick okay but watch your edge don't let it bleed into another color now, if it bleeds into another colour, okay, that's because the other colour is uh, wet. Okay, so that's called wet on wet and it'll just diffuse into that colour. Now, I, I want this colour to sort of blend away onto my page and just evaporate away from it. Okay, so I'm just making sure I've got enough water and I'm diluting it as I come away. Now, if I left this on, it would... Um, stay in the paper and I wouldn't be able to move it around as much so I'm just making sure after each little bit that I want to be darker and I can always go back and do it darker still okay that um just make sure it's moving around okay so I'm going darker here down at the bottom okay I've changed the color slightly but it doesn't matter Okay, just get in between his feet. Remember to look at the detail of these seagulls. They have got webbed feet. Okay, so make sure that you show me that you've actually looked at the detail of things. Okay, I might go around this object here as well. This sort of key side bit of equipment. Okay, and then just let it blend off. So I've done that bottom bit there now. A bit of blue and the green into it just coming around the other side making sure that I've got a nice sort of dark wash effect going on here okay you can see the other bits just following it around the edge and then just making sure that that water goes on it before it settles in the pa in the paper so again, water, watering it away, watering it away. Okay. Let it water, water it down. Okay, I think you get the idea. Okay, so last little finishing touches to my painting will be the beak. Okay, because he's got a black bit on the beak. Um, and I just add in some darker tonal areas under the wings when it's eventually dried okay so i'm just going to can continue that round to there blend that into there okay so i think you get the idea of this bit so the wing stands out so i might go lighter here as if it's causing a sort of turbulent in the air so if it's doing, if it's just standing, that's fine. You can do whatever you want with it. Just following the sort of shape. I don't want exactly the shape, but I'm just going to disappear that one out there. Okay. So I might leave that now. I think I'm quite happy with that there now. Okay. So I'm just going to work on the eye. So I've got to do a little bit on the eye and a little bit on the beak. Okay. Okay, so this is what, how illustrators work on their work and then they might take a photo of it, put it into a computer package like Photoshop and start working on top of it. Okay, so you could have a go at that if you've got Photoshop or a, a design package at home if you want to do that. You could outline it with a fine liner. You don't have to do that. It might ruin it. It's up to you what you want to do with your work. Okay, so keep it loose. Okay, looking at the colour okay looking at adding in some sort of setting okay so there's my sort of quick version of a seagull in flight 
I'm just going to hold it up so you can get a better angle. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to finish the eye off and I'll put a picture on for you to have a look at. Okay.